Sup guys, welcome back to Dubious Adventures. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to meditate for beginners. Now, I do get a lot of people that have tried to meditate and they always tell me they come across this problem like they can't clear their mind, which is uh, a bunch of BS because meditation to me and probably to everyone else that does meditation isn't about clearing your mind. It's about absorbing yourself in the here and now present moment and uh, really having your awareness on everything going on around you, body, uh, outside, the sounds, uh, the way you feel, uh, smell, sight. Um, so there's many ways, there's many ways you can do meditation. Um, I'm just going to touch on like the most basic form for uh, like beginners and stuff. Um, so let's get in, started on why you should meditate. So I began meditating about three years ago um every day and the reason i did it was because of anxiety now i used to have like kind of like crippling anxiety where i'd be like out in public or something and i kind of like freeze up like my my chest would like pound i'd freeze and you know someone would be talking to me and like dude i just could not focus type anxiety so what meditation does man for anxiety wise is uh it calms your body man because you may not know it, but uh, your body gets super like tense when you're anxious, kind of. So, train like doing meditation kind of uh, relaxes the body, relaxes the mind, and uh, is a good uh, meditation is a good like brain exercise for that. It helps you to keep building um, kind of like a good like routine into being uh, calm, efficient, focused. It, it, like the brain is like any other muscle the more and more you uh you train it to use it the more and more it grows and gets stronger so meditation is good for that i'd say oh speaking of right now um your brain is connected to all of your organs in your body including your immune system so uh at the time i'm filming this video right now covid19 is going around so it will meditation scientifically proven to improve your immune system Check that out on the internet. Um, this man is a bunch of stuff, man. Uh, de stress you. You ever just take a, like when you're in the midst of being stressed, you just <sighs> take a deep breath as you let out. You kind of like, the body's a little more calm. It's great for that. Yeah, man, there's many, many, many reasons on why you should meditate, man. It's, uh, you know, I know this guy off YouTube. So a guy that I follow, man, used to have ADHD, and uh, meditation cured him, he says, and, you know, he has great focus, and I've heard of it helping people with uh, speech impediment, kind of like stuttering and stuff like that. So there's so many ways, man, meditation could be helpful to your daily life. Now, I'd say um, you, you can't just do, like, one day of meditation and expect it to, to help you out, you know, you got to, with anything, man, Anything you want to get good at, you got to be consistent. So uh, definitely, you will feel good after the first one, more calm. But like with my anxiety, man, it, it definitely went down over, you know, say like three years ago, man. I'm so glad I've done it because I've came a long way since three years ago, man. I barely get anxious out in public. I had like social anxiety type. And uh, yeah, I'm able to, you know, kind of be myself everywhere, kind of, you know, I don't have to worry about that anxiety or whatever. All right, so let's get into position on how you would start your meditation. You could do crisscross like this, um, which is, you know, the ideal way. You do legs out in front of you, sit in the chair or whatever. Um, you could lay all the way flat down on your back, uh, do it in your bed laying down. But what all three of those have in common is, which is the most important, is keeping your spine straight. You're keeping your back straight, shoulders back. And the reason why we do that is because, um, I'm just going to touch on this a little bit, but uh, energy flows through your spine easier that way, all the way up. So when you breathe in, release, um, energy just flows better that way. So that's like number one key. All right, so I like doing um, crisscross, and if you can't do crisscross, like for me, I have tight hips as well, 
so I can't go all the way down. I used to be like this when I do crisscross, but if you want, you can sit on a pillow and it keeps you up like this, so it keeps less tension off your uh, your hips there. So you could do that. Um, get into hands, so different like hand movements like this. They're called mudras, mudras or something like that. And just lightly going over it, each one um, kind of like is like a healing property of like certain things w within your body and stuff. The ones I'm going to touch on today is palms up and palms down. So palms up, man, is kind of like receiving energy. Palms towards the heaven, receiving energy. Um, your senses are all, you know, you're aware of all your senses kind of you're just like absorbing everything, you know. And palms down is kind of just getting your brain quiet, you know, you, you cut off the outside world. And uh, I call it AKA grounding yourself, palms down. So if you have like a long day at work or a little stressful, put the palms down. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Back straight, palms up or down or whatever. And uh, then you could get right into the meditation. All right, so, oh yeah, and also places you want to meditate. Um, obviously quiet, quiet is optimal, but honestly you could literally meditate in any position, anywhere, because you know meditation is just fully absorbing yourself in the here and now with awareness um, by definition, but ideally um, I like to go out in the nature, um, you get all that, that nature energy, Naruto, what's up? But nah, man, like, uh, it just feels better, man. You can hear all the birds singing, uh, the wind blowing, and it's quiet. But about 95% of the time, man, I just meditate right in my room or, you know, in the house somewhere. But whenever I do get on a hike or something, I do like to meditate out there. So for this next part, for this guided meditation, I want to walk you guys through. Uh, we're going to go out and hike, man, um, out in nature and meditate. All right, guys, welcome outside. This next part's gonna be a nice guided meditation. And this goes out to all the beginners out there. I'm just gonna give y'all a general uh, gist of, you know, uh, how to meditate. Um, so just follow along. And then also it goes out to the people who have tried it before, but say they can't clear their minds or uh, they just find themselves, their minds like running and running and they can't focus and blah, blah, blah. So here's my tips on, you know, how to just meditate and, uh, yeah, it's going to keep it simple. All right, so go ahead, find a nice spot to sit. Go ahead, pause the video and pause it when you guys are ready. But I'm just going to go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing I like to do is just kind of, before I close my eyes, you could meditate eyes open or closed, but, uh, I prefer closed. It's easier, especially for beginners too as well. But before all that, I like to look around and absorb myself, see where I'm at. Just be aware of where I'm at. So I'm taking some deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And then go ahead, and close your eyes. Alright, so first thing I always start out with is just some nice deep breaths through the nose. As you breathe out, just uh, feel your body getting more and more relaxed. Breathe in. out, relax, feel your whole body relax. All right, now pay attention to all the sounds around you, whether it's the birds singing or the cows eating grass or if you're inside, uh, someone in the room next next to you, or a washing machine, or, or just complete silence, just that silent, fuzzy sound. Breathe 
back through the nose. Relax. As you breathe in through your nose, feel the wind through your nostrils. As you breathe out, feel the wind on your lips. As you breathe in, feel your lungs uh, contract, I guess is the word. Focus on your stomach. Bring your attention, your awareness to your hands. Feel each finger. And then feel the center of your hand. Imagine it getting hot or you feel energy in your hand. Bring your focus to any spot on your body that has any sort of pain or maybe discomfort. Focus on that. All right, now focus on your toes, your feet. Maybe your knees next and Work your way up through your whole body, thighs, hips, feel each body part relax more and more. Back to your stomach, maybe all your organs on the inside, your lungs, feel your chest. Your heartbeat. Go up to your neck, down each shoulder. Elbows, forearms, back to your hands. Feel the energy in your hands. Bring it back up to your neck again, and your chin, your back of your head, maybe your mouth, nose, eyes, forehead, feel all those, and relax them all. If you find your thoughts drifting off, just be aware that you're thinking, and it's all right. Everyone's thoughts drift off. It's all normal. What I want you to do is be like third person point of view, kind of observe your thoughts from afar, kind of. Just let them flow. When you're aware of your thoughts, you simply bring your awareness back to your body or the sound around you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Listen to the sounds around you. Maybe try to smell, see what that scent is mm -hmm. in your room or outside. Taste whatever is on your tongue. 
Try and do all the senses here. Now bring your awareness back to your breath. Air through your nose. Hot air out. Feel your lungs on this breath. Feel your body relax. And uh, you could go ahead and open your eyes. That's pretty much the gist of it, man. I just kind of bounce around from awareness from my body to the sound and just everything around me. And that right there kind of keeps my mind from wandering less and less. But it's all right if your mind wanders though. Like I said, you know, just be aware of your thoughts, observe them and then bring it back to your breath or the sound or wherever. Yeah, man, If this, uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. I know uh, meditation, man, has literally changed my life. And I'm not just saying that because, uh, you know, when uh, I didn't want to rely on smoking weed or alcohol to like put me in that mood to where I just felt comfortable you know I just wanted to you know because all those all that stuff just kind of just like temporarily sets aside I wanted to you know level up and be that way be myself you know so I think meditation is a good alternative to a lot of stuff man and it, uh, it only lets you become your best version of yourself so hopefully this helps you guys out and Smash that like button and subscribe if that's what you're into. And stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.